Welcome to WTF, where we transform food here in the modernist pantry test kitchen. Today, we pithy the fool who's still trying to prep these with a knife. We'll talk about Pectinex, Pectin, and how it's getting in the way of your uh, recipes. Hi, everybody. I'm Mark Frechette. And I'm Scott Guerin, the research and development chef here at Modernist Pantry. So let's talk a little bit about uh, today's ingredient is Pectin X, which, as the name implies, destroys pectin, but let's talk about pectin real quick. What is it and, and what is it serving for a purpose? So pectin is basically what holds the cell walls together in many fruits. Um, so whenever you have oranges yeah. and you have all that, the white pith on the inside or the peels that are on them, generally you have to do it by hand. So if yeah. I were to take uh, this orange here, I peel the outside with a paring knife and then I segment each and every one. I'm leaving a lot behind because I'm leaving some of the, the pulp on the inside. Right. I'm leaving some of the juice and I'm really breaking it down so much with that paring knife that I'm wasting time and I'm wasting money. Yeah. So what we have here is Pectinex and it's very simple. All I do is peel the outside of the orange yeah. and then I put one liter of water to five to six drops of the uh, Pectinex in there. It's two, usually two milliliters sure. to a liter, but if you don't want to have to measure, it's totally fine to do five or six drops. Yeah. And then I separate my segments of orange. I place them in, and you can do this with any citrus fruit. You can do it with a lot of different uh, yeah. fruits or anything that contains pectin, really. Sure. And I allow them to sit for a few hours, and even after about 20 to 30 minutes, you'll see it start to dissolve. So it's going to dissolve all that white skin on the outside. It's also going to dissolve all the pith that's on the, the back side of it. And I have a few things here that I kind of want to show off. Obviously, sure. this, they look like they came out of a, a can. They do. And and you weren't cheating with this. This, this uh, at this point yesterday, was a normal normal citrus fruit, so it's not canned, even though it, it looks as perfect. And I think it's important to note, Pectinex isn't just for citrus, but this is probably one of the most visually stunning ways to show off its raw power. Um, but uh, also, we've got Pectinex has other uses that it's used for, uh, including clarification, which we'll mm -hmm. talk about, um, as well as these Supremes. Um, and some of the more exciting uses I've seen are, uh, I think Dave Arnold uses it for, for a French fry recipe. Yes, many um, different things. So yeah, anywhere Pectin's getting in your way or needs to be controlled in some way, that's where something like Pectinex comes in. Yeah, so... Whenever you're using something like this, you want it to save you time and you want it to save you money. Yeah. So you're not paying someone to stand there and peel the oranges. And then usually you have to throw away those, uh, you know, like the skins of the orange. So you're wasting all that zest. Yeah. Unless you have someone zest all those oranges, peel them, then suprem them, and then you've spent right, right. two hours doing a case of oranges. <laughs> With this, you can just peel them. And if you peel them properly, like I kind of did here, and this is really cool. Yeah. This is the pure skin of an orange, and here's one right before, this is, has the Pectinex in it, and you can kind of see, I just scrape off. This is all pectin that's been broken down by Pectinex. That's so insane. you can save all the zest without having to you know, do it with a zester or wow. a microplane. You can do whatever you want because it's in much larger segments than you would just have yeah. you know, little bits. And then you have all of the fruit. There's no wasted fruit, no wasted juice, because it's all contained in here. And you can see the back is completely clean, and so is the front of every single segment that you have. Now, something I was I was a little bit surprised because when you told me like, oh, you just do it, you, you soak it in water, I thought you'd lose some of that freshness. This isn't a setup. I legitimately was just surprised by this. And and it still smells amazing. So it didn't lose any of the freshness or, or anything like that. If you were to leave the, the zest in for too long, it will eventually break down because yeah. it does have have a, a lot of pectin in it, right. but I took it out and I rinsed it. And that's a really big thing to know is that if you want to stop kind of the breakdown of that pectin, take it out and rinse it. Eventually it'll work its way through the zest. Yeah. Uh, if you were to take a full orange and put it in with some Pectinex in water, yeah. over time it would break it down completely and just leave you with the segments. But you don't really want to do that first off. That's going to take a long time. Right. Um, so I just took the skin, I soaked it uh, for about 12 to 15 hours, which is easy if you do it and you show up the next day, you can take it out and just wipe it right off. These are grapefruit skins. I want to do them because they're a little bit bigger so you can see them a little bit better. Yeah. But the orange, orange skin works just as fine. So that's fantastic. Now, now uh, I got to ask you a question since it can it actually can break down most of the orange. Um, if I was to take Pectin X and put it in, say, a jam, the, 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 the pro Pectin <laughs> champion, um, would... Can, is Pectinex strong enough to actually like break down a jam pretty well? Yeah, so Pectinex, like we said, 
breaks down pectin. Yeah. If you put it on top of a jam and you let it sit there, it's going to work its way through and the enzyme will break it down. Sure. Eventually, if you leave pectin X out at room temperature, which this is one of the ingredients that we suggest you keep in the refrigerator, if you leave it out at room temperature, eventually it will lose its, uh, sure. you know, it's really en enzymatic power. And that's what it is. It's an enzyme that just breaks it down. And the best part about an enzyme, like we said, if you leave it out for too long, it breaks down. Yeah. But if you want it to stop doing what it's doing, just heat it up gently. I sure. believe it's above 130 degrees where it kind of deactivates that enzyme and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, not that it would do anything, you know, uh, digestively or, sure. or it's not, it doesn't have any flavor, which is really great. But if you want to stop it doing what it's doing, just gently heat it up. Yeah, we actually had a really great question where this was one of the possible solves. Somebody, uh, somebody was making um, canned prepared salsas uh, and they were having a problem with it kind of getting a little bit too jellied up and you would identify, oh, it's probably the pectin causing the issue. And this yeah. was uh, one of the possible solves was add some pectin, let it do its job, then heat it to deactivate. Yes. All right, I'm not gonna spoil what the other solve was, but if you're looking for that, head on over to blog.modernistpantry.com. After this video, you can wait, uh, where you'll find a new column called, or newish column called Ask a Chef. That's when a lot of you guys ask us questions. You probably get dozens a day. We take some of the most interesting, intriguing, or weird ones. Uh, and uh, names and faces change to protect the innocent and answer them uh, publicly. So if you're looking to see some of the strangest questions we get or the most common questions we get, uh, ask a chef over at blog.modernistpantry.com. It has a lot of them, including this uh, something that covered this uh, as problematic pectin uh, and salsa. So there's many other things. It's not, you just don't make uh, segments out of oranges with this ingredient. Like I said before, it's an enzyme that breaks down pectin, and pectin is usually in the cell walls of, of many things. Sure. So here we have two different uh, looking glasses. Obviously this one looks like a smoothie, and this one looks like a juice. Yeah. And these actually were the exact the same. Here. Yeah, these were the exact same uh, strawberries, I mean, side by side. And all I did was I added pectin X to this, and then I ran it through this machine, which is kind of just sitting here ominously off Yeah, I remember left. him, he's in, um, <laughs> he's in Lost in Space. Well, we've taken them here and now we've kind yeah. of changed them a little bit, or Dave Arnold has changed them into an amazing uh, culinary centrifuge. It's really the only one that is made specifically for bars and restaurant use. Um, and what that basically means is that it takes in this product, you know, it's, it's pulpy, it's got the seeds, it's yeah. got everything. So I just put them right in the blender. There's no water or anything in this. I added the pectin X to break down those cell walls and release all that juice. And then I ran it through this machine, which spins at such velocity that it separates out the seeds and then the pulp and then just the liquid. Uh, and if there was any fat in it, it would actually separate out the fat as Good well. Nice. So it separates it all by density. And then I have a beautiful strawberry juice that is crystal clear. You can read through it. Yeah. And now I can use it for many different things. And then I also have the pulp that's left over wow. in here that I can use to flavor more things. So this is a really amazing use. It's kind of a, you know, it adds on to helping with, you know, the use of pectin because sure. this, if you put it on any vegetable or any fruit um, that contains pectin and run it through here, it's going to separate. It's going to be really beautiful. Yeah. And if you haven't had a chance to play with the spins all yet, um, it's, it's definitely, it's a great way of getting, I think the way to put it would be the extreme flavors out of stuff as well. Um, we were talking about using it for, for hot peppers to get, you know, clarified hot pepper juice for use in vodka. <laughs> separate episode that you'll never see. Um, but so there's lots of awesome, awesome uses for it. So definitely check that out. We've got a whole section on our YouTube channel. If you want to look at it, oh, you might already be watching this on YouTube, but head on over there, um, hit the subscribe button over there. And it's a great introduction to the spins all, how to use it uh, and stuff like that. So definitely worth a shot. If you love, love, love high end kitchen gadgetry and what it can do to really enable some superpowers, this is a really impressive piece of kit. And the best part about those YouTube videos uh, on the spins all is it's by Dave Arnold, the guy who invented this machine. <laughs> and, and Dave is, is an absolute genius when it comes to uh, culinary technology as well as, as ingredients and stuff. So, yeah. so listening to those videos, he, he did them all one take and he was just so knowledgeable. Obviously he, he built and made this machine so yeah. he knows everything about it, but you can really understand how to use this machine and see some amazing things done with it. Yeah, in fact, Dave Arnold, if you're, you're watching this, uh, your videos still have more views than our WTF videos. I'm coming for you, but it's a wildly popular product. And thank you so much for working with us on it. Now, another thing, speaking of David Arnold, um, is uh, he's got some recipes out there. I think the French fry recipe where he does call for a couple of different kinds of pectin X's. Yeah, so when, when those recipes were written, um, this specific product wasn't really being used or it wasn't even out yet. Yeah. So 
he had two different types of pectinex where two different enzymes that did basically what this one ingredient does. So, so you yeah. just have to blend those yep. old two, and now you just need them. the one. So this is the winner of the Highlander series. So yeah, there's the, the French fry recipe, which you can use to you know break down some of the pectin to make a really nice crispy French fry. Great read, by the way. Or he also has a like a primer on making these orange or suprems or yeah. everything up to pomelo, you know, uh, using those two ingredients, but you don't need those two ingredients. So if for some reason you saw those and you're looking this up and you stumble across <laughs> us, this yeah. one ingredient substitutes for both those ingredients. And I don't even believe you can get those two ingredients no, anymore. So the, the Pectinex SPL is what you want to use. Cool, and we'll leave links. Of course, we always leave links for the products down below in the show notes at blog.modernispantry.com or if you're watching this on YouTube, just tap to see the description. Uh, we'll also leave a link to the French fry recipe as well because that was just a crazy read. He ends <laughs> up breaking out sandpaper for it, the texture. It's, it is the most in-depth read on a fried potato you have Color ever treated yourself to. Um, all right, now we've talked about some of the amazing uses for it. I think this is an absolute time saver. This almost seems to me like one of those things where um, you volunteer to take care of the Supremes, set it all up and like take the day off and come back later and be like, I did it all, it took no time at all, no big deal. Well, then you can, you can make many more things in the time that you save, so. Yeah, and that's one of the things we're always trying to do for you here on WTF. It's not just about the new ingredients, but specifically trying to figure out how these new ingredients can change your life as either a culinary fanatic or for more of you, culinary professionals. And in this case, Pectinex is pretty amazing. As a clarifier, it's, it's uh, we see this a lot with wine making stuff as well. Mm -hmm. yes. It's a great clarifier and certainly something to try experimenting with as a, as a potential option. Um, the fact that it does these Supremes, I think is probably one of the widest available uses because uh, you know this is a really common thing to have and you don't have to use jarred. You can stay true to your freshness promises um, and at the same time, you don't have to spend forever uh, trying to get the pith off or even worse, serving it with that awful tasting white stuff on it. And actually one of the most common uses for Pectinex is actually in commercial juice making. Oh so, yeah! So yeah, it, it, you've probably had this ingredient or, or you know, it's been used in something that you've purchased already and now you have it at your fingertips to do um, amazing things with. So what are you going to do with this new superpower? Let us know! Uh, look, the best way to let us know is to take a picture of it put all the right hashtags on it and tag us on Instagram. That's, you guys have been sharing some amazing stuff you've, you've made from these WTF episodes, or just from our entire catalog of ingredients at modernistpantry.com. So thanks so much. Keep sharing, it inspires us. We love sharing that inspiration on. Uh, or just leave a comment down below on how you plan to use it. Whether you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, that comment section, we read it. He reads it faster than I do. So if you ask a question, you'll get a response really quick as well. Um, now, we did talk about, uh, you know, we hinted a little bit earlier on it. Uh, there are, well, this is really easy to use because you can't really overdose on it. Uh, that's probably yeah. a weird word, but um, you can't really use too much as long as you know you can use the heat to shut it off. Um, what are some other, what are some ways you could really mess this up? So the, the biggest way you can mess this up is leaving it out on the counter for too long. Like this. Uh, well, these are these will be out for about 10 minutes. They're still retaining a lot of their, yeah. you know, um, the coolness that, from the refrigerator. But if you leave it out on the counter or on your just your shelf for a day or two, they're going to start to, um, you know, destroy the enzymes that way. Yeah. It's okay if you want to, you know, put it, the enzyme on the, the fruit and allow it to sit for a few hours on the you know, on the counter, because they work pretty well at room temperature, yeah. but you wouldn't leave just the entire bottle. Also, like you said, overdose, which <laughs> just means putting too much. And at that point, yes, it'll work a little bit faster. Sure. Um, but you don't really need that, especially if you're gonna let it sit overnight. Uh, why are you going to put more when you could just save a little bit of money and just put the, you know, the two milliliters to a liter or four to five drops to a quart or a liter? So. Outstanding. All right, so there you have it, Pectinex. It's capable of pulling off some amazing tricks from taking all of the pectin uh, peel uh, off of your oranges to clarifying juice to uh, taking the other side of the peel off yeah. for, for perfect zest. It happens to have some amazing other superpowers. When you're looking at pectin heavy, uh, pectin based uh, fruits and veggies, for example, I think peppers, this would turn yeah. peppers down to a paste pretty darn yeah, quickly. Pretty, which... pretty much nothing. It almost dissolves them to just red dust yeah, or red um, pulp which is kind of exciting to me. Uh, and the best use for this probably hasn't been discovered yet. That's gonna be your job. I love that you said that last time we got one of these and I'm stealing it forever. You stole my line. Yeah, forever. Go ahead, you can say it. <laughs> no, you already did a good job. All right. So. <laughs> so is there anything else we need to know about Pectinex, how to use it? Oh, important, how to spell it. 
Pectin EX. So it's yes. all one word, but it's not Pectin X like it's a cool, you know, 90s prog rock band or something like that. <laughs> um, so definitely you find that at modernistpantry.com. Just go to the search bar, Pectin EX, all one word, and you'll find it. Cool. Anything else we need to know about Pectin X? I think, I think we hit all the points. Outstanding. Well, thank you so much for joining here on WDF, where we transform food in the modernist pantry test kitchen. And that's actually WTF, and my name is Scott Garrett. Oh, did I say it wrong? WDF. WDF. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, hey, do you like inspiration? You've made it this far in the video, including the bloopers, so you must. Uh, head on over to blog.modernistpantry.com, where you'll find a lot of things waiting for you. You'll find some of Scott's favorite recipes that we've posted up over time. You'll also find that Ask a Chef column we hinted at, where we answer the strangest, coolest, or most common questions we get. Uh, and you'll find some backlogs of this series, WTF, where you'll learn everything from how to make your own bacon to our last episode, Mastering Culinary uh, effectively pop rocks yeah. uh, which if you missed that one definitely head back for it are you yourself a culinary professional or a fan look guys there's a subscribe button right there uh, or a like button up there on Facebook if you haven't hit either one of those yet go ahead and make sure to hit those so you don't miss on another episode and do us and uh, your friends a favor hit the share button to pass this culinary knowledge along especially if you can be the one that saves somebody a ton of time in their prep work which this is one of those episodes, they'll love you for life. I'm not saying they're going to owe you a favor, but, you know, they'll owe you a favor. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for joining us here on WTF, where we transform food. Have a wonderful day. I'm Mark Frechette. And I'm Scott Garrett. Have a great day.